Is there any zakat on rental cars and vehicles that companies own for moving produce? As far as possessing vehicles which are given on rent, the same view is used as houses on rent, the same thing. So majority of the scholars say that if it's vehicle given on rent, so no zakat is there on that vehicle. Fine, if it's a taxi driver who is a poor person, who has one taxi, and his earning is just a few hundred dollars a month or a few thousand rupees a month. But natural, if he pays zakat on the cost of the vehicle, on the taxi, it will be too much for him. So I agree that there should be no zakat on the cost of the vehicle. But on the other hand, if you have a person who owns a fleet of cars, maybe a thousand cars, you know, we have Hertz and this big, big company who own thousands of cars. Now for them, that itself becomes an asset. You know, if they give on rent, they can keep on buying every few months, hundreds and thousands of cars. So I believe that if it's a fleet of cars and if it's given on rent, then the cost price, the depreciated cost price, don't take the cost at which you bought the car, but take the depreciated cost every year keep on taking on depreciation, but give it at that value, you give two and a half percent zakat, that will be preferable. So I agree more with those same group of scholars, Sheikh Kardavi, Ibn Akil, Ibn al Arabi, Sheikh Abu Zohra, Abdul Rahman, Al Hassan, and all these group of scholars.